Ladies and gentlemen, this welterweight matchup is scheduled for three five-minute rounds with the World Series of Fighting and presented by Boost Mobile. Be heard. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist with a wrestling background. His professional record, 23 wins with nine losses. At five feet, 10 inches tall, he weighed in at an even 170 pounds, training at Pit Elevated. And here tonight from Salt Lake City, Utah, it is Josh, the People's Warrior, Berkman! His opponent tonight fighting from the red corner, a wrestler also trained in Muay Thai. His record an impressive 21 wins with just four losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall and he weighed in at 170 and one half pounds. Training with Team Ghost Dog and fighting out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, Gerald Hurricane Harris. The referee for this matchup, Chris Tagoni. Gerald Harris and Josh Berkman. Harris comes in the favorite here with the Vegas bookmakers, minus 200, Berkman at plus 150. Harris a 43% KO ratio, 29% on the subs. Berkman, 22% KO ratio, 39% on the subs. Here we go. First round of three. The southpaw stance here of Gerald Harris. You've got to look for Berkman to keep his lead foot on the outside of Gerald's lead foot and throw the right hand all night long from every angle possible. And everything that he can do, Gerald Harris can do to him only with the right, <laughs> the opposite way. <laughs> Step across the outside thigh kick as Harris turned his leg in, so he caught the sciatic nerve, scoops the kick into the midsection of Harris. I really like this because not a lot of people, I, I, I tell you, not a lot of people will take the front leg, the outside front leg from Harris. And that was a high one to the inside lead leg from Josh Berkman doing everything right at the moment against the southpaw. A common technique to use the inside thigh kick. And again, Berkman connects with that inside thigh kick. Harris tried to counter over the top with the right hand. Gets a second one off, but Berkman caught it on the forearms. Straight to the body and inside low kicks because they come all the way from the back. But now, Berkman also switched to his outball stance for a moment there. He went for a Muay Thai clinch, unlocked it through a knee to the breadbasket that folded Gerald Harris in half. Harris turned against the cage here by Berkman. It's been all Josh Berkman so far in the first round as he drops down to a double, then a single, and looks for a takedown bus. He's trying, but Gerald Harris got some really good takedown defense. It's going to be hard to put him on his back. I, I would continue throwing those knees. That was a really nice crisp knee straight to the midsection and using really the kneecap. A lot of people, they close the distance too much and then they throw with the upper thigh. Now I can look at that. Big double oh leg take down yeah. from Berkman. Almost puts Harris through the canvas. Ends up inside a half guard. Now Harris does his best to control the posture here of Berkman. If he allows him up, Berkman will rain down the punches from half guard. I love this position, half guard position, because there's a lot of stuff you can do. You can even go for leg locks there. And a bunch of submissions as well. Berkman also, the name says it, been elevated. That means they trade high altitude. He will come in in shape and can push the action nonstop. Berkman, a natural athlete since his very early days. As I said, a former footballer also went to college at Dixie State, was a star in his sophomore year. Rushing 1,439 yards, 13 touchdowns for the Rebels, earning an All-American nod. And there's another taste of the power. I love it. I love the way he's working this. Look at these beautiful knees to the midsection. He drives the point to the knee in. That one caught on the humorous, but there was nothing funny about it. And Gerald Harris has got to find somewhere to get out of here. Yeah, a lot of people might say, hey, it's a, it, it might be illegal, but it's not to the body. It's legal, it makes martial arts. He has to really watch out though. He doesn't slip up to the face because then it's gonna be over for him. Could be a red card. Stay busy. And if it's a knockout, well, he loses. Berkman in control, two minutes down in the opening round. So good body shot there. Three minutes down, two to go. Harold, back to his feet, Gerald Harris, nicely done. Now Harris can get his strikes off. I expected another knee there, but he didn't. Harris knows he's into a, in, in a fight right now. He's got a gum. He's got to start throwing. 
Ripping a right Ooh. hand. Gerald Harris throws a knee on the inside. And that was very close. You see how Gerald Harris is tucking his chin, looking through his brow here. Berkman's chin propped up in the air a little more, and he's already taken some damage, particularly under the left eye that's swollen. Berkman also carrying his hands low here, but that may be so he can throw the right hand from angles. He switches back to Orthodox and now switches back to Southport. It's amazing, he's just fighting from uh, both, both stands. How about that? Oh. Yoki Gerdy, side kick from Berkman, then the inside thigh kick. A lot of leg work here in the first round from Josh Berkman. And there you can see he's probably right-handed. And that's why he made that switch to attack with that crazy kick. Uh, Marco Huas used to do that uh, uh, during sparring as well. Harris is going to start to get his strikes off first here. Tip kick to the lead leg as he goes back to his preferred orthodox stance as Josh Berkman. And it could be a setup for a high kick, you know? Give two of those thrust kicks to the knee and then suddenly come with that high kick there. And the Oracle bus Rutten calls a beautiful turning round, round kick from Berkman and he fakes the one two. Corner of Berkman saying to come forward, spinning hook kick. That was almost a capoeira kick, right? Yeah. He threw that body all the way down. Jumped in for the knee, now they clinch up. Wrist control here, and Berkman tries to go to the hips. And Harris walks him back against the cage. Nice little knee on the inside there from Gerald Harris in the final 15 seconds of the opening round. <laughs> knee from Berkman off the left. Wrist control from Harris on the right wrist of Berkman. There you go. Under over for Berkman, and that's how the first round ends. A take down here from Berkman was a huge one bus, almost put him through the ring. Wow, very well done. Look at this, what a lift. Lots of power here. And then we saw the karate technique, the Yoko Getty sidekick here from Good Berkman. Job. Just trying to go for that orbital above the right eye. And here's the high right round. Boom. Beautiful execution. Nice pivot on the lead foot. And it was very nice. Good foot positioning also, standing on the outside so the power goes through the target on impact. Not this job. Josh Berkman has had a mixed bag of results fighting here in Las Vegas in the past. He's three and four in Vegas fights, Ooh. losing his last three here in Vegas. His last Vegas win was against Josh Neer at UFC 61 back in 2006. I hope he's not superstitious. Okay, second round, guys. Here we go. Yeah. Fight. Second round of action. They touch gloves, and Berkman opens up in South Paul's stance. Inside leg kick. Wow. Very nice, Harris now, looking for that takedown. Gerald Harris just testing the thighs here with some little popping knees off his right. Can he get a takedown and try and put Bergman on his back? You should go harder, you know, jump all the way to the side to the right and then land really hard knees to the thigh. I mean, sometimes they have more impact than low kicks have, and especially in this position because you can't flex. And then that knee goes through that muscle like, like a knife through butter. Berkman, who was one of the very first fighters signed by the World Series of Fighting, him and Miguel Torres and Gregor Gary Gracie. Inside thigh kick from Berkman. It was a little low, you know, almost on the shin. He has to watch out for that. It might break your foot or your ankle. Oh, big right hand. The tough thumper from Bergman and Harris shrugs him off. Man, but it telegraphed so much. He has to watch out. Something behind that jab. Out that head. Come to him. Yeah. Gonna come to you. You Looking for another, like, spinning thing. Berkman is sitting something here. Oh, scoops in with the right hand, and he timed it well to stink here to the chin of Gerald Harris. Add something to it. Nice, well-timed jab there. Walk straight onto it. Overhand left from Gerald Harris. Side kick again from Berkman. Almost upends himself. Harris looking to push forward, but needs to set up techniques with his jab. Thrusts out a couple there. Oh, He's look at that. With the left. Berkman presses him against the cage. That was very well timed here by Berkman, though. Can Berkman get another big He's in the first. Tries to scoop out the right leg of Gerald Harris. Gerald Harris kept him up. So, you know, didn't make, make sure that the hands didn't come too low. So he could scoop it now. He goes for a guillotine attack. Gerald Harris has to watch out. He has to move to the side. Sink the choke here in the second round. Can Gerald Harris find the finish? He 
has to move to the side. He has to go to the opposite side of where the head is caught and then press his head backwards. Gerald Hall goes up the choke. He's applying pressure here on Bergman, but will it be enough to tap him out? I think he's letting him waste his energy. Can Harris take that winning streak to five fights in a row? Although it is underneath there, I can see it from here. Bergman could be in trouble here. It's been a long time in this position. And look at Harris applying the pressure, crunching that neck of Bergman. You see, but you know, he's not really doing anything to improve his position, so that gives me the illusion. I, I think he's giving him, Harris, the illusion that he has it. But he doesn't, and he's wasting a lot of energy. He's got to really watch out, though, because it looked like to me. Bergman made an attempt to get out, but to no avail. Harris still locked on here. Bergman may need the jaws of life to get free from this choke attempt by Gerald Harris. Yep, I don't think Bergman looked at the referee like, hey, there's nothing. Could be again. He could play it. I'm telling you right now that if this grip is going to let go and he can't tap him with him, there's a lot of lactic acid in his muscles. Gerald Harris trying to finish the fight. And that is going to prevent him from striking fluently and explosive. And Bergman <laughs> says no, the old Hulk Hogan style, waving <laughs> yeah. the forefinger. I'm not done yet. And again, he gives indication of the referee. And as you said, Bus, the danger for Harris yep. is spending all that energy. He's going to lift him. When was the last time you saw somebody in a choke attempt for this long? Yeah, and you, remember, you saw Bergman is already repositioning himself for the lift. If he can bring his left arm in between the legs, he can lift him up and slam him on the ground. And he would bring the house down as the crowd continues to build here at Planet Hollywood in great anticipation for the World Series of Fighting. Outside news now from Bergman, trying to find his way out of this submission attempt. And Harris is still holding on. Harris, if he wants to do something here, he should jump guard. He's out. out. Bergman's out of trouble. And what toll has it taken on Harris? Now we're going to see if he can still strike with explosive power. Inside leg kick from Bergman. What's Harris got left in his right arm now? Oh, high right oh, kick going for the headache maker, Bergman. And switches to southpaw stance. He gave him the illusion it was going to be a low kick. Looked all the way down and then kicked high. Bergman began the round in southpaw. He'll finish though in orthodox as he fires a front kick up to the face. What a round, two down, one remaining. Yeah, normally when you go for a guillotine choke, you feel that you're underneath the jaw and you want to finish it. The best thing to do is to jump guard. The bad thing about that though is, that if you're not gonna have it, then you got him on top of you in the guard, you know, but you see the jiu-jitsu experts, guys like, uh, what, the, uh, the Pat Militich, Hanzo Gracie fight, right? Yes, that exactly. Hanzo did it. He jumped up in the guard, got him. And Pat kept standing. That was all in standing position, didn't even go to the ground. We were in this yeah. position for so long, you saw Berkman three times wave the finger in the face of the referee to say he was okay, which indeed he was there, boss. Yeah, and that's the thing you always would do, uh, should do as a fight. Look, here pops out here. Um, because some referees, they might think you're in trouble and they stop the fight. Oh, nice short right hook there. Third and final round. Last round, Josh Gerald, Berkman. Last round, last round Josh. Doing well in the first, Gerald Harris looking for that submission for a long time in the second. Still maybe okay, anyone's fight for the go, taking. Berkman has outstruck Gerald Harris so far. Both men open up with hooks off the lead hand. Berkman's opened up in southpaw stance and they're going toe to toe. Harris sprawls out to stuff the takedown attempt and Berkman catches him with a popping left hook. And, and Harris is throwing with his right. You know, like nothing happened, so apparently it didn't affect him that much. Glancing right hand from Gerald Harris. Harris wants to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, not give up any ground to Berkman, as he has done in striking the two previous rounds, Bus. He needs to. He needs to really turn it on in. That was a nice knee there to the midsection. There's a cut over the right eye of Josh Berkman, and blood streaming down the face and affecting him as he wipes it off here. Bus, your scorecard after two, what is it? Oh, yeah, here we go again. This is really a hard fight. To judge, I would, you know, lean it a little bit to Berkman. 
because he's got the beautiful takedown. He's got so I would say in my book right now Berkman is winning, and I think Harris knows that. That's why he comes out firing. But Berkman is blinking heavily on that right eye. It's like painting a target on the face that Gerald Harris will go after if given the chance. He'll try and fire that left hand down the tube. Look for that right eye of Berkman and open the cut even further. Nice kick to the lead knee there from Berkman out of orthodox stance. Yeah, it's going to be frustrating for Harris the way that Berkman keeps changing from orthodox to southpaw and back again. But he has to watch out. He shouldn't go to the right. He should go to the left, to his left. You know, because otherwise he's going to walk straight into that cut. He's got a pull here. There we go. Very nice work. Moving away from the side, from the fence. Oh, jab from Berkman. Didn't retract enough, though. And no, no. Harris makes him pay. The explosiveness is out. The distance with his striking, with the punches, are not that great. He's a little too, too close all the time. Gerald Harris catches him with a short left hand. He's looking for some home run shots now, is Gerald Harris. Really backing up Berkman for the first time in the striking department. Looks for a double leg here. Now a single Gerald Harris. Can he get a takedown? Put Berkman on his back. Get some ground and pound happening. Berkman's looking, uh, Berkman's looking for the Kimura defense, so to say. He wants to control that arm there the whole time. So even when he goes down, he can pull off a Kimura. So just shoulder lock. Big swing here. Nice defense against the high right round kick. They should throw it to the body. Just a little upwards to the body as hard as you can. Oh, Harris is pursuing Berkman in this round. Now Berkman comes forward trying to back up Gerald Harris. He knows a side kick from Berkman. Yeah, because he knows that Harris needs to take it. Harris is going to need a knockout. So he needs to come forward. The Berkman's got to just stop him. Every time, step in, close the distance. So there's no any reach on the strikes. They'll take the power out of the strikes. Gerald Harris is slowing down here as the third round ticks over. A little flat-footed, not getting off his strikes first. He clinches up dead center of the cage. The Decagon here at the World Series of Fighting. A ten-sided cage. Big left hand from Harris. Counter from Berkman. Backs up Gerald Harris three paces. And Harris again scooping punch off the right, then followed by a left cross. Berkman has to watch out though every time he moves backwards his chin is up and Harris got a long reach he should kick that kick to the body a few times set it up and then go back to the head doesn't have a lot of time more anymore though time has become the enemy of Gerald Harris one minute and five left on the clock Harris at the point time nice job bends his way out Harris down on his knees Bergman now looking for the choke he he's might, got over a minute to find it here, but he, he might lift him up and knee him to the to the bit of solar plexus. You watch. I'm expecting a knee here, but his arm needs to be out of the way. Otherwise, he needs his own arm. Another guillotine attempt, but now he's going to take him down. Double leg oh. takedown, and Berkman gets it. Good work from Josh Berkman. Berkman top position. Low clubs it to the mount. Pulls the arms away. This is he's not on low now. Josh Berkman in a prime position to do damage from the full mount. He should just go full blast here. Sit up high on the chest so that when Harris starts bucking up, there's not a lot of movement and start striking. I mean, 13 seconds. This is the way to guarantee your win. Has Gerald Harris's winning streak here we go. come to an end at the hands of Josh Berkman. Berkman takes the back of the final seconds. Three rounds down nice. to go to the judges. Berkman pumps his fist in the air. So too does Gerald Harris. Boss, how do you see it? Yep, I think that Berkman won this fight. I agree with you. Yep. He had to take down, you know, and, and uh, he just did a phenomenal job constantly pressing the action. The only time when Harris really came back was in the beginning of round number three. But uh, he got it. Berkman may take his streak to three wins in a row. Harris, who was on a four-fight winning streak coming in here tonight, is staring down the barrel of a loss. Just... Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we go to the judges' scorecard. 
They score them out 29 28, 29 28, and 30 27. It is a unanimous decision for your winner, Josh the People's Warrior Bergman. Yeah. Get ready. Uh huh. Listen. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah. No.